I just want to make a comment, and Stephen, you, you may have your own reflections. Bronwyn, no doubt, will. And Bernie, this is a foreign game to you. But Norm Proven, uh, the bloke who is uh, etched into the statue of the National Rugby League, uh, along with Arthur Sim Summons, uh, Norm passed away uh, yesterday. Uh, he lived, he moved on to this, the Sunshine Coast. Now, I, I must confess that I met him when I was about eight or nine. My dad... Uh, my dad said to me today, he said, everyone knew Norm. So I said, well, Dad, you knew him. And he introduced me outside of Norm Proven Electrical on the Kingsway at Carring Bar. There you go. This was the biggest human I'd ever seen in my life. And he was about six foot five tall. He had a hand the size of a dinner plate. He was so <laughs> gracious, so good, so courteous. I'd never, ever forgot the day of meeting this bloke. Uh, at 89, that he passed away, but his reputation is more than just a little bit intact. Uh, I mean, Stephen, you must have heard so many people lamenting the passing of this great uh, man, I think the greatest of all time, without a doubt. Absolutely. You know, part of that great St George team that won all those premierships in a row, 11 in a row, and I think he was part of five of them. And I, I heard a story from a, ten, a lady ten, bringing uh, a talkback radio program. 10, was it? Yeah. Um, apparently, yep, when he was yep. 17, his coach took him along to the Roosters and the Roosters said, no, this bloke's useless. We don't want him. So he went to St George and um, <laughs> he certainly proved them all wrong. <laughs> well, I... I yeah, was just... he was his brother Peter well. played for the Mighty Tigers. Yes, yeah. Well, I, 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 remember the, I just remember those, those were the days when St George won everything. And quite frankly, that, that long run of St George win is what led to the cap, the salary cap being put in place um, so that um, mm. you couldn't just go and buy up good players and <laughs> keep winning. They had to be sort of shared around the different clubs. I've not been a supporter of the cap, but yeah. that's how it came about. But Proven was just yeah. somebody that was admired by everybody. Yeah, and, and as I said, I have my story. There's plenty of others with far greater stories than that, but uh, just amazing watching uh, people who played with him, against him. They just uh, just love the bloke and that uh, amazing uh, statue uh, that is on the, that is yes. the trophy that is handed out each year with this massive Norm Proven and this little Arthur Summons uh, yes. from opposing teams wrapping each other up at the end of a very muddied football final and uh, it was captured and forever become a piece of bronze that became the, that became the trophy. Bernie, that is, a, that, you know, we, I, I won't take comments from you because we've got to wrap the show up, but it's, there is a little bit of tribe about this and uh, this bloke was a legend in many people's minds and uh, what, a, what a great example. No. I, I reckon a lot of footballers today yeah. could learn a lot from the way this guy conducted himself, mm. not only on the field but off the field. Uh, oh, and, God rest uh, his soul. Uh, my thoughts, yeah, my thoughts are with his family and closest of friends.